Anyways. Oh man, what do I bring? I'm gonna bring Hijikata, cause why the fuck wouldn't I? <laughs> fuck it. It's not gonna fucking matter. Man, fuck it, in that case, I'm gonna get rid of that and fucking put that one on there. There we go. Need more of those. <laughs> Need me more of those fucking things. We are finally here! Uh, they didn't hold back when it came to making more mini Nobus. I guess I was no match for Big Sister. Why must I always fail so hard? I'm so bad, sometimes I question whether I'm really related to Big Sister. Hey, don't say that. If there's anything to blame, it's the era we lived in. It's nobody f nobody's fault. It was just the times. I suppose. But I will accept any punishment Big Sister has for me. It is only right. Just do it quickly. I don't like pain. Very well. Goodbye, Nobukatsu. Okay, seriously. I want someone to specifically tell me why she has an extra B in her name. I don't know if it's in reference to some other word I'm not getting, but as far as I can tell, no spelling of Nobunaga has two Bs. Nobu? Eh? Huh? Big sister? Jeez, I really am a softy when it comes to family. Just who I am, I guess. I knew you'd do the right thing. Big sister! Don't touch me, that's disgusting. Besides, we still have another boss fight to deal with. Oh yes, the remains of the demon god pillar, or rather the gold demon Taiko. Hey, we only just now remembered that this was a thing. God, even the final boss is fucking forgotten. Farewell, loving Gouda Gouda world! I am Hideyoshi, the gold demon Taiko. I offer eternal life. Shut up, demon trash, and come on, Cha-Cha. Take off that mask and wake up already. You and I share the same noble Oda blood. No Oda could ever die so easily. This shouldn't phase you at all. Uh, Auntie? Cha-Cha, what a relief. She hasn't been completely consumed. N no, you don't understand, Auntie. This is all Cha-Cha's fault. His Highness... Soru... Soru Matsu... Hideyori. Those who had tried to protect the Toyotomi family. They are all blaming Chacha, calling me the woman who destroyed Toyotomi, a horrible, wicked woman, the obsession of a deranged Toyotomi. Those words are boiling up from within me, just like that day, forever and ever. This is such a lame excuse as to why she's a berserker. Mostly because it really comes out of left field. We have no build-up to this except for, like, she doesn't like or want to go back to Hideyoshi. I think that's the biggest problem here. We're trying to have this big situation here. None of this really built up to any of it. We knew Nobukatsu was doing something in the background, but there was never any, like, indication that he was doing it for this purpose. I don't know. This event could have gone better, but it's just kind of... Eh. Not helped is when I think Gouda Gouda, I think parody, and this is trying to be way more serious than it should be. Ah, so that's what Monkey thinks. Listen, Chacha, I know M v Monkey very well. He was naive yet calculating, emotional yet unequivocal, and truly cold-hearted. A man who was unquestionably two-faced, and yet he shone with glory. He was a man like the sun itself. It was only natural for him to secede me as ruler. But there is one thing he couldn't do, and Cha-Cha, you know very well what that is. And that is... He couldn't say no to the woman he fell for. Auntie... Th that's right. His Highness was always kind to Cha-Cha. Always and only to Cha-Cha. So that voice I hear coming from the pillar is... Why? 
Why do you refuse, Toyotomi? Your children, they can live on forever. And now our eyes are open to the tr- Ah, so many eyes! See, like right there. It's clearly trying to be serious, but then BOOM! Whiplash, we're back to parody levels. Whatever, it's just a stupid jerk that tried to deceive and devour Cha-Cha. What do you mean? That thing really is the carcass of a demon god pillar. During the battle with Solomon, it must have developed some self-awareness. Does that mean it didn't have self-awareness before? This is gonna further compound my theory that the entirety of the Epic of Remnant is bullshit. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Because that further makes me question then, hmm, if other demon god pillars left the area, but they had no self-awareness, how did they manage to do that? Hmm. <laughs> what happens when a living thing becomes aware of itself naturally it begins to fear its in eventual demise? While the other demon god pillar stayed on the battlefield following orders, this one fled its post because it wanted to live. Isn't that the entire plot of the Epic of Remnant? That demon gods left because they wanted to live? You know what, I don't care anymore. Let's just get this over with. However weak as it was, it was unable to stave off death, and so it drew its last breath here. Now only its vindictive desires remain. Wait, you figured this all out? I mean, you're right, that's basically the residual thought patterns of a demon god pillar that took shape. It may just be a corpse that drifted here, but it's still a demon god pillar, even that shell is a powerful magical tool. I would question that, but the demon god pillars literally shoved themselves inside of Solomon's corpse and puppeted him around. I assume that's also how they used his magic, so... I'm not gonna question it. The demon god pillars resorted, resonated with the powerful desire not to die, then fused with that very desire and materialized as something similar to a grail. Alright, now that I'll question. What? <laughs> it's like a nasty parasite. It can't maintain its existence without using the spirit origin of a heroic spirit as a catalyst. So if we separate Cha-Cha from it, this realm will go back to normal. Let's put an end to this vein. Cha-Cha, we'll get you out of this piece of trash soon. Yeah, just continue to do nothing. Auntie, Vane. Okay, Cha-Cha will wait. Yeah, let go of Cha-Cha! Let me go! Oh, right, Cha-Cha can shoot fire from her hands. Wanna get burned? Good. Sounds like chit-chat's done with. All we have to do is slice it up, right? Then let's get to it. Mr. Hijikata, it's always like this with you. Anyway, let's end this. To be honest, I'm running kind of low on HP myself. Cough. This is stupid, whatever. Come to the decisive battle. I don't even care, let's just finish this. I almost kind of regret that I didn't, uh, I didn't save that one part, the, uh, the pretty much, like, prologue section to the decisive battle, so I could have fused those two together to actually create a fucking, uh, oh! You're a ruler! Mistakes have been made. Whatever. I honestly don't think it's going to make that much of a difference with their damage up. Yeah, I know. The time of sundown hath come. Come <laughs>
Now please keep attacking. Thank you. Just gonna stun you for a turn. Uh, there we go. Uh, just gonna get uh, Hijikata's Noble Phantasm up as much as I can. Alright. Oh, God, I should have used that. I didn't think about it, though. Alright, let's do this. Because really, I don't expect this to be that much of a challenge. Mine a little bit longer. Oh, fuck. Uh, on that note, uh, hmm. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna trade places. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, just gonna trade places with people. There we go. Break. It's kind of really hoping you kill them so that I could just use Hijikata and, you know, rape your anal hole. <laughs> rape your anal hole. Not to be confused with the other hole, your uh, mouth hole. May not even have to fucking use him. Alright. Let's just do this, I guess. Alright. I don't really have anything to say. It's just... I mean, it's kind of boring he's just a ruler. If I'd known that, I would have just brought Jalter and murdered the shit out of him. But, I mean, he's not really a fucking challenge either. Sure, I'm doing reduced damage to him, but... Fuck, I'm still taking him... I'm still taking down a lot of his fucking health very quickly. At this point, I'm just waiting for him to kill one of them. There, finally. So Hijikata can come back and I can kick his ass faster. Come on, Hichikata. There we go. Tank like a boss. All right. You Kiss your asshole goodbye. You face now the might of the Shinsengumi. And that's why I wasn't worried at all. <laughs> I'm sure he took down some of my people, but it didn't matter. Uh, 
I... I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die here like this. I just want to keep living somewhere alone in my own world. I don't need purpose, no ideals or conviction, no subjugation or rule, no pursuit or development, no camaraderie or parting, none of it. I just wanted to relish this newfound sense of self a bit longer. Hmm? Where am I? Cha-Cha remembers getting enveloped in flames that day. I see. So this is what hell's like. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. W what are you? A demon god pillar? Don't come near Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha. This record. You destroyed Toyotomi. I see. You're going to die too. I will die soon and so I... I understand how you feel. Give me your hand. If I fuse myself with you, then we'll... So stop! Ch cha cha is not the one who destroyed Toyotomi! Cha-Cha tried to save Hideyori. You were branded a liar and a woman who brought destruction in later history. You are a fitting vessel for me to inhabit. O oh, woman who denies destruction as one who turns her back on it, you are truly fitting as my accomplice. O oh, infernal princess, your powerful sense of shame was the beacon that guided me through the sea of death. No, Cha-Cha isn't a destroyer, or an infernal anything. Cha-Cha, Cha-Cha just... God, I don't care for the soap opera drama. Disappear. She will disappear. The woman who rejected destruction will never accept eternity. I do not understand humans. Life is incomprehensible, but... One thing has become clear to me. Biological activity without purpose is no true voyage. It is merely drifting. And I simply fade it, failed to properly order my goals and purposes in this brief existence. That... that was a close one, Vane. Good work saving Cha-Cha. May Auntie give you a reward. Cut the crap. We wouldn't even be in this mess if you hadn't gotten yourself captured by that demon god pillar. Now, now. All's well that ends well. We should be happy that everyone's safe and sound. Well, big sister, I think this is goodbye. Huh? Nobukatsu, why are you fading away? Well, you know, I'm pretty insignificant, so I don't exactly qualify as a heroic spirit. And yet, somehow we can have a phantom who can turn into a heroic spirit. Yeah, no, sure, we'll, uh, we'll fly with that. Whatever. It was only thanks to the demon god pillar that I was able to maintain my spirit origin. You all went to great lengths to save me, but I think this is the end. Nobukatsu. Oh, come on, big sis. I'm not the sort of brother who should be missed. I'm the dumb little brother who je who's jealous. Whose jealousy? Oh no no! Whose jealousy of this of his amazing big sister started this whole insurrection? Okay, now that makes sense. I see. You're right. Okay. Bye then. Oh, come on, I'm disappearing forever, and that's the best you can manage? Ah, big sister, just one last thing. What is it? Come on, spit it out. I leave the rest to you, big sister. W what? Don't give me that crap, you dummy. Who uses the same last words twice? Sorry to cut this touching moment, but... The demon god pillar that created this realm has disappeared. We'd better get you all out of there. That's right. Please hurry, senpai. If you stay there like last time, the space will... Oh, it's not collapsing. You're right. Why's that? Could there still be a shard of the demon god pillar somewhere? Does Cha-Cha still have a chunk of that weirdo thing on her vein? No, that's not it. Right. Shinsengumi. Seems that way. M Mr. Hijikata? Why are they just now becoming relevant to the plot? Oh my god, I hate this event.
I hate everything about this event. <laughs>